to install the iron bug, you can use go to the GitHub repository to download the installer to install individually, or just use the pollination grasshopper installer. You can get it free from the pollination website. Here and inside the installer and turn check this chat box and then it will install the latest uh, iron bug inside with, with the ladybug tools. And we have seen this uh, interface from the OpenStreetMap application. And uh, why don't we you just use uh, this OpenStreetMap application to model HVAC systems? Here is a problem. Any modeling for a whole building with uh, the default detailed HVAC system is very tedious and time consuming. Because right now, I don't think we have a efficient software and the workflows to support us to build the full system inside the whole building. I mean, a whole building is a commercial level building, meaning typically one building has like more than 200 zones and complex HVAC system inside. So the question is, how can we make this HVAC energy modeling workflow, workflow more efficient and flexible. Let's look at the current parts of the workflow. Typically, we will use one platform to build a geometry and use another platform to build the full HVAC system. And lastly, run simulation and QVQC. I'm not going to cover QVQC in this part. I will be mainly focused on the first two. So we have some tools like Rhino, a Honeybee with inside Rhino or SketchUp and other tools to help you build the geometries. And for HVAC modeling, we can just saw inside of the application, you can do the full detailed HVAC system over there. But what's the problem here? These two sides are totally separated. And of course you can import one side to another side by the file, like OSM file, GPSML, or you can use a measure. But how many times have you heard like some features is not available inside the OpenStreetMap application, but you can do like find a measure, write a measure, use the OpenStreetMap SDK, or just edit the OpenStreetMap model directly. But this is like very difficult for a typical user, regular user. What we need is one integrated platform. We do the first two part in one platform. But this doesn't mean a new isolated ABC software who doesn't want to talk to each other. We one uh, open and robust geometry modeling capacity because we heard a lot from like other platforms user they complain about modeling geometry in this software it's really painful there's it's really not easy to build a full size full scale whole model and uh, we need one integrated platform with the standard and the modeling functions like redo undo as far as I know, most of the energy modeling tools, platform, they don't support undo, like choosing, which means if you are modeling a full detailed HVAC system and you, let's say you delete one system accidentally and there's no way to go back. If you wanna change something and you forgot, there's no way to go back. And we really want a one platform that is totally transparent and not hiding anything from the user, from the modeler. We often heard she will say, I don't know how it's modeled. I just picked this option. And because that option is one click, we don't know how the system was, is set it up under the hood. Now, how can we merge these two sides into one? Here, we can use the iron bug inside the same platform or 
where we model the geometries. So what is the iron bug here? Iron bug is a tool set for freely modeling the real world complex and the customizable HVAC systems. I highlighted a few keywords here, so and I probably have to highlight this real world as well. Real world. What does this sentence mean? It means you really can do anything you want, but the great freedom comes with great responsibility. So you are the person who should be responsible for what you are modeling. Now let's compare Open Studio application and the Ironbug interface here. And let's just look at the supply side on the, on the left. Is a OSI application. You can see five components from the OA system, including coil, heat coil, fan, and the set point manager. On the right side, the five elements are laid out vertically. So how each element is connected is from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom. And this basically is a one HVAC loop versus HVAC loop plus a reusable template. What does that mean? Because this is everything inside of the class offer, you can do easily control C, control V. If you have one template, one system built from the previous project, now you can just very quick, do that very quickly. Control C, control V, the user inside the new project. And also, uh, control Z, which is the undo. But all of this you cannot do inside the application, uh, obviously the application interface. Here is another example. Uh, inside the open system application, here you can only find the electric, electric SFP, but what if you want to use a CLC uh, SFP with a hot water reheat coil? You cannot. Uh, inside of the hope oh, uh, inside of the iron bug it's very easy to just replace as I mentioned previously this is a SLP you can just replace the electric heating coil with hot water heating coil and uh, as I mentioned in, inside the open system application there is really no documentation to explain what each input means and here, you can see the energy plus documentation directly inside the glass upper. So, so you don't have to go to the website or open the PDF to search for the inputs. And you can have a full control made to make a central heat pump system. And of course, here you can set up a very detailed VIF system with all curves. Once you set up in one project, and then, then you can reuse it very easily by copying these performance curves into another project. And of course, if you have an Open Studio app uh, that contains a VIF system inside, you can just import and the VIF system and the reference that system in your new model. Even though I think the Rhino platform is the best geometry modeling platform, but you are you have the freedom to use whatever your existing workflow is to build the geometry first, and uh, import the, the model inside the glass opera and then assign the systems here. So here is a real example that I have worked on. Is the building has two systems inside? You can see it's highlighted area A and area B, and one part is using the doors with active tubing. And another part is uh, VAV with reheat. And in one of the client meeting, architect want to say, what if we want to change the system between areas? How can we do that? Now, just think about in, in your current workflow, how much time you have to spend to switch the system between different areas. And here in this workflow, it literally takes like less than three seconds. I think now enough talking, let's do some exercise.